Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and welcome if you are new. So today I'm going over how to deep clean your kitchen. If you've watched my last couple of videos on Wednesdays, I've been doing some deep cleaning throughout the house. So here is the kitchen for you. Now the first step is probably the most important step is to clear everything out of your kitchen. This is so important because there's going to be areas that you forget if you leave all that stuff in there. So I am taking everything out and also getting some help from my good old husband. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted But looking back I can see it's all clear I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore And then I recommend making sure all your dishes are clean. You can run your dishwasher. However, in this video, I'm going over how to clean your appliances as well. So I was just doing my couple dishes by hand. That way I could show you guys how to clean your dishwasher, your stove, your microwave, all those areas that you may not hit on a regular basis. Now, the next step is to work from top to bottom. So in my case, I am cleaning off the top of my cabinets, which I have to say, I didn't think they were as bad as they were until I started cleaning them. I was hoping just a quick dusting would work. That was not the case, so I got out my Method degreaser, and this worked awesome on top. So, highly recommend if you have a degreaser, you're probably going to need them. I should have known that. It's the kitchen. Grease just kind of builds up everywhere and you have to stay on top of it. So I went through and cleaned all the top of my cabinets and whew, they were gross. And then once again, my husband came in to help me out. There are a couple areas that even with my ladder, I couldn't reach, so I had him come in to help me out. He was working outside on this day, but he had no problem coming in and help me with those couple areas I couldn't reach. And then I moved on to the cabinets. I love my method wood for good, and I'm just going to go all over the cabinets from top to bottom, inside, absolutely everywhere to make sure they're really clean. These don't get as greasy or as bad because I do keep up with them, but it's still a good idea to get all the way to the top, which I don't normally get. I normally just get what I can reach without pulling out my ladder. Ah. 
I have learned that no one else can carry this load. It's a train where I'm the only passenger on board. Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road. But even so, I still feel that I. I know how to handle it all on my own. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Leave me stranded. I know how to handle it all on my own. On my own. And then onto these windows. These windows actually can get really bad sometimes because I like to light a candle and put it in the windowsill. So I will get some dark marks up the side on the left. So I needed to really scrub that down to fill it out. But I also wanted to get into the little railing to slide the window back and forth. I haven't done that in a while and it just had some build up and everything. So get in there real good and get it really, really clean. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in. I wanna fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging just cause I'm too proud Whisper away my outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down All right, and then onto my microwave. Now this I do weekly because the microwave just can get messy. That's just normal. If you use your microwave, it's going to get messy. This is probably the easiest way to do it though. I take a microwave safe bowl, put some vinegar in it, and microwave it for five minutes and then let it sit and steam for a minute and literally everything wipes out so so easy so if you haven't tried this method definitely try it and if you don't have vinegar you can just use water and it does work really well as well um, sometimes I will use water and then a little bit of lemon juice and that works awesome just the same So I normally wipe my appliances down with an all-purpose spray and even when I'm deep cleaning I will do a initial wipe down with my all-purpose spray just to get anything big off of it, grease, anything like that. But then you will end up seeing me using a actual stainless steel um, cleaner that just gives it a nice shine. Now these are the greats. You're going to have these if you have a rain hood or a microwave above and a lot of people forget to clean these. So I will fill a sink with really, really hot water and just spray it down with some degreaser and then get under that microwave. It's going to be so bad. I promise you the grease buildup, you need to do this on a regular basis. As you can see, gross and then just quickly scrub them down. Super, super easy way to clean these grates and they don't take long at all.
All right, now onto the stove. So this Easy Off works really, really well if you want to clean your oven quickly. However, if you have any breathing issues, I highly recommend against this product. It does have a lot of fumes. I enjoy using it because it works so well. However, if you want a non-toxic way, definitely just use baking soda water and let it sit for 24 hours and some vinegar and it cleans off real well. Now these grates, I just put them in my bathtub with a towel and you can use any type of laundry detergent. Just let that sit for like two to three hours and then scrub it off. You can see how gross this water is just from letting it sit there, but it really, really takes off all the grime. This easy off though is definitely my favorite thing when I want to do a quick cleaning in here. Like I said, you can use just like baking soda and water turned into a paste. Scrub it all over and then spritz it with vinegar and let that sit for 24 hours. Every once in a while going back with the vinegar and re-spritzing and that does work, but it is a 24 hour process. So it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, I just prefer the easy off, but it is toxic. It does have harsh fumes and I'm not going to sugar co coat that in any way. It's just the way it is. And then moving on to my dishwasher. Dishwashers are super easy to clean. I will sprinkle the entire bottom with baking soda and then take a flat bowl and set it on the top with some vinegar in it, run it on its hottest cleaning cycle, and it will get your dishwasher so, so clean. So these are a couple things you do not want to forget. Cleaning the counters, obviously, like I said before, I'm working my way from the top to the bottom, so that's why I did not hit the counters right away. But also getting your light fixtures and switches, your fingers and stuff are on them all the time. Plus they're in the kitchen, so they're going to get greasy and grimy. So wipe those down completely and then really wipe down your counters well. I love this cleaner. It actually smells like fruity pebbles. I'm pretty sure this is what they use in the Target bathrooms because whenever I walk into Target bathrooms, I swear it smells like fruity pebbles. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know, you know. That I won't let you go. Put your arms around me and I'll let you know how it feels. All right, and this is probably the one thing that people forget to do all the time, but move your appliances. It's so important. I feel like a lot of people are afraid to do it, but this is so easy. My husband was home this day. I easily could have called him inside to help me, but they move really, really easy. I think people are often afraid they're going to be too heavy to move on their own, 
but I promise you, you can definitely do this. And as you can see, even someone like myself, who I clean fairly regularly and pride myself on a clean home, it was not nasty. Just downright nasty and needed a good vacuuming and a good, good scrubbing. And then for just scrubbing my floors, I am using a simple solution of very, very hot water, vinegar, and dish soap. And then this is just a soft bristle, bristle <laughs> brush. This works really well. Usually I will use my O-Cedar mop, which I really, really love. It does a great job. However, when I'm doing a deep cleaning, I like to get on my hands and knees because the little things that get stuck in the crevices of your floors or along the baseboards, you're not going to get those clean with just an everyday mop. So getting down and dirty and doing the real good scrubbing makes all the difference in the world. All right, and then on to the fridge. This was a little bit more difficult, but once again, I was able to do this myself, and I am only five foot three, guys. Like, I am not a big girl that can just muscle stuff around. So if I can do it, you can do it. This is not only important because, once again, gross, but this is important because you need to keep the air vents on your refrigerator cleared. So definitely make sure to do this. It's going to make your refrigerator run a lot smoother and prevent future breakdowns if there's too much dust back there. It just is not going to get the airflow and circulation that the fridge needs. You can ask spring. And then since I have the fridge pulled out anyway, I like to wipe down the entire top of the fridge. I wipe down the top of my fridge regularly. However, this back half of it is under a cabinet, so I can't obviously get it on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, the sides of your fridge, those are going to get dusty and grimy just like anything else. So take advantage that you have it out and wipe it down just to make sure it's really clean. And then I move on to the lower half of the cabinets. I'm doing exactly what I did on the top and just wiping everything down really well. These get extra dirty because the kids can reach it, the dog can reach it. So between sticky fingers and cold, wet noses, these just need to get done all the time. Plus, if I, I can be a messy cook, so there's definitely sometimes some food splatter or whatever. So I definitely keep up on these, but they are always dirty. That's just mom life.
And then onto the vacuuming just to get everything really clean. Vacuuming is a multiple time a day chore for me because of our little pup. I love Drake to death, but his hair, man. If you don't like hair, do not get a Siberian Husky. However, if you love sweet, beautiful dogs, get a Siberian Husky because he is the best. But there's always hair. A lot of you guys have been asking me what vacuum I have. This is the Shark Duo Pet Vacuum. They just have a regular Duo as well, but I always buy the pets because, well, Drake. And I love this thing absolutely love it i have never had a dyson or anything but i also have never had a desire because i love the shark products so so much and then to get the entire floor clean once again that same solution as before vinegar dish soap and very hot water and i go in sections because i obviously want to make sure that this stuff doesn't sit on the floors, so I scrub it down and then wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. You're not going to see me changing these cloths out regularly just because it doesn't make good footage for me to constantly get up and change the cloth on camera, but whenever it got oversaturated, I changed it because it just stopped picking up as well. I probably had to change out my cloth about four times to get my entire kitchen clean. Alright, and then last step is cleaning out my sink. I do this last because as I'm cleaning, I'm going to be rinsing cloths and constantly doing stuff with this sink. So when I'm doing a deep cleaning, this is always my last step. So I'm taking my uh, Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser, and I love this stuff for a good deep clean. It has just enough abrasion to really get all the grime off, but 
it's not gonna scratch the surfaces. So I really, really enjoy this when deep cleaning my sink. Normally I just use dish soap and hot water, but like I said, today is a deep clean. Now another thing you should focus on is if you have a disposal and your disposal ring comes out, take it out and clean it. Mine does not. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So I just put my hand in there, pull it up, and scrub on the inside very gently. But if yours comes out, take it out and clean it. It'll make a huge difference. And then I will also use a disposal cleaner that I get from the Grove. If you guys haven't checked out Grove, check out my link below. I have a Grove link and you're gonna love their stuff. Pretty much all my cleaning products or 90% of my cleaning products are from Grove. Now, you love that shiny sink look? Literally, all you guys have to do is dry your sink when you're done cleaning it. If you dry it out, it's gonna be so shiny. It's literally the only thing you have to do. There's no magic trick, just dry it out so there's no watermarks and it's going to look brand new. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it really showed you guys how to deep clean your kitchen. If you made it this far, leave me a heart emoji down below. I love knowing who made it to the end, but I will see all of you next time and I love each and every one of you for supporting my channel. Bye. Hey.